Hey everybody, Zeal Brothers here with another video. This one is about a Reddit post where uh, that has now gone viral where a man was posting about his relationship with his wife. He's been married over 40 years and he was just talking about the fact that she was a stay-at-home mom his whole marriage and now he's retired and now she's gone to work and now he doesn't really know how to do the things at home. And so people were just roasting this man. They were getting on him, talking about, how do you not know how to do anything? You watch your wife do this for 47 years, blah, blah, blah. And it ended up being a discussion about gender roles. And that's a question that we have to face. Are there real gender roles, right? A lot of people will say, well, these are things, and I was even in a training today, a corporate training that I was part of, and they'll say things like, what about societal gender roles? Those are things that we're expected to do or we're treated to do. In other words, we're culturalized to do these things. Well, let's just talk about gender roles from a couple of different perspectives. The first perspective is what is natural? What is natural? Now, when you look at genders, and a lot of times people try to make them interchangeable, but they are not. We know they're not. And the reason we know they're not is because their nature is not the same. Now, I was reading a book quite a few years ago, a psychological book, and it was very good. And it talked about the fact that a lot of men have systemizing type brains and a lot of women have empathizing type brains, but it's not mutually exclusive from each other. In other words, it's not like there's this sharp line between male brains and female brains, but rather there was a overlapping and it was almost, you know, there's a mathematical term for it, but a better way of thinking of it is two rainbows that intersect. And so there will be an intersecting region where men and women, you know, we have we are related to each other in a lot of different ways. But there are some general differences. And when you look at things between men and women, there are things that will be generally true, but not absolutely true. When we discuss this on this channel, a lot of times we will simply say them. But a lot of times when I hear people objecting to the arguments we make, they'll say something like, I'll say something, for example, men are taller than women. I know one woman who's taller and there's a man who's a midget that I know. Well, that doesn't disprove the general truth that men are generally taller than women. The median height of a man is higher than the median height of a woman. That's un inescapable, right? And so when we talk about things, we have to first define the issue that we're talking in generalities. Second thing, generalities are useful. Now, you might say, well, we need to talk in absolutes. No, we don't. We need to talk in generalities because we're talking to a general audience. General Generalities are useful because if you know what a tree is, you know a tree has a branch. You know that trees have a trunk. You know that trees produce leaves. That's generally true. Now, what about a pine tree? Well, that will be an exception. What about a palm tree? Why is that different? You could talk about the specifics and how it can be different. But to understand the concept of a tree is still worthwhile. So we're going to talk in generalities. When we talk about gender roles, the first thing we need to think about is what is natural to men? What is natural to women? It is natural, just the way that we are, that men have more systemizing type brains and women have more empathizing type brains. What is a systemizing type brain? A systemizing type brain enjoys A plus B equals C in some type of way. And that can be in many different situations. That's why a lot of times men have been very good at math. Not It's not saying that all women are bad at math, but it's just saying generally more men are better at math, right? at the sciences, more men are in the hard sciences than women. These are things that are simply true based off of the way that our brains work. What about our bodies as men? Men have stronger sexual desire, that's just based off of testosterone. Men tend to be stronger, right? Men tend to think in, in more directional ways, in other words, straight line thinking. Now, what about women? Well, women, tend to be able to focus on more things than one better than men. Women tend to be able to distinguish colors better than men, right? If somebody's going to be colorblind, it's going to be a man more likely than it will be a woman. Women are physically more delicate than men. That is simply a fact. But women can also give birth and men cannot do this. But there's a lot that goes into that. Right. So when you talk about just the physical aspects of being a man and a woman, 
these are things and i wish i didn't have to explain it it's it's it's, it's a shame that we got to explain these things but it's just that's where we are right now as a society we're so backwards we can't even figure out what a man and a woman is but if you introduce a little kid who's a boy to a toy he's gonna make it do all these action things and if you introduce a toy to the average girl she's gonna do more relational things and what this talks about is our natural roles in society. Even if we didn't tame them, right? Even if we let kids just grow up in the wild and we didn't do anything with them, they would eventually sort themselves out in such a way that the boys would be more in leadership. The boys would take more risk. The boys would be more aggressive. And the girls would be the opposite of those things, right? That is simply the way that we are. So when we talk about being culturalized, that's a false argument because if we were culturalized, you'd have to point out a culture that doesn't do that. Point out a culture that is surviving, that is thriving, that doesn't do those things. Now, when you talk about gender roles, here's another perspective. What's right? Now, we know what's natural. Now, it might be natural for me to look at a woman as she's walking by, but is that right? And let's talk about what's right. Where do we get what's right from? We get what's right from what is moral. Where do we get what's moral from? We get it from a moral law. And there is no moral law that does not deal with family relationships. And if you look at any of the major religions, not just Christianity, which is really the true religion, but if you look at any major religion, they're all going to explain in some way how family dynamics work. And the truth of the matter is, is that we know through study, we know through research that the family works best when there's a male leadership and when there's a two-parent household. Too many studies have been done on single-parent households led by men or women, and it leads to all kind of bad results. So when you talk about a relationship in a family, and it, maybe sometimes, now you hearing this, maybe you're a single parent. You might be all mad at me. The truth of the matter is this is simply the facts. Maybe you made a mistake in the past. I'm not saying your kids are worthless or they can't make it. We have lots of examples. I'm not talking in absolutes. I'm talking in generalities. But if you want to do what's best for your kids, you need to set up a home that has the roles that God has designed you to have. God made it natural. God prescribed it. And then and here's another thing. You will be happier. Studies have shown that men and women are happier in committed relationships. Men make more money when they're married. Women are happier when they're married. We have pushed so much this have sex all the way until you know you're a man, have sex all the way till you're 45, be wild, be a bachelor. Ladies go out there and do your thing until you're like 35, then try to get married. We push that so much that in a black community, there's more people who are not married than are married. In our society, as a black community, is troubled by that, right? We have a lot of problems because of that. So we look at gender roles. And you look at the Bible. And you look at what it says about men and women. And one of the things that it just say is let wives respect their husbands and see that the husbands love their wives. And when you look at that, what you get is the Bible's take on our core needs. What do men need at their core? Men need honor and respect. What do women need? Women need attention and affection. And if you give those two things freely, you will have a good home and a good relationship. It won't be perfect, but you will always be moving in the right direction if your intention is to give those things to each other.